Are we good over? We good over there? Okay. We have everyone here. Looks like it. All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the sea lion demonstration portion of the Moss Landing Marine Labs Open House. My name is Nancy, and I am one of the researchers here at the Sluice Project, and I want to introduce you guys to my friend Saki. Hey. Now, Saki does love your applause, so if you see something you like, definitely feel free to applaud for her. Hey, girl. All right, Saki, wave hi to everybody. Now my friend Saki here is a 24, 23 year old female California sea lion. And California sea lions are very common here on the coast of California. But they also, they look an awful lot like another animal that's commonly found out here, the seal. Now this is gonna be a question and answer portion. I want you guys to shout out some answers to me. Does anybody know any differences between my friend Saki, a California sea lion and a harbor seal? I see somebody with their hand up in the back. What, what's one of the differences? Whiskers. Sea lions do. You can see Saki's got some very long whiskers, but seals have some too, but that's a good answer. Does anybody know any other differences? I'm cheating. There's a poster right down here. Huh? Oh, I have a hand down here. Sorry. Ears. That is a very good one. You can see on the side of Saki's head here, get hold, there's this little ear flap kind of like the ear flaps we have on the side of our heads. A lot of their stuff is external, where harbor seals just have a little hole in the side of their head that they hear out of. Can anybody think of any other differences? They do walk differently. Saki has got some good impersonations going. Sea lions can actually tuck their back flippers up underneath them on land. Okay. And <laughs> here we go. Tuck up. Good. And they can walk. Good. Walk. No. Nope. Uh -huh. Sorry, that's my fault. Good. Walk. Good. Good. On all fours, kind of like a dog. And now she's got an impersonation here of her cousin or her, her friend, the harbor seal, which inches along on the ground, kind of like a caterpillar. Good. All right, can anybody think of any other differences? Couple hands in the back. And the blue shirt in the back. Yeah. Their color. Seals and sea lions all come in a very large variety of colors. Um, some sea lions are darker, some seals are darker. That's a good, good, uh, good guess there. Does anybody have any other ones? Saki's got a hint. Saki thinks that she knows. Good. What do you think it is? Sometimes their colors are different, um, but some, some seals are, are solid colors too. All right, well, Saki's gonna go ahead and help us out. She was trying to wave her big front flipper at you. Okay, and that's one of the differences. Sea lions actually use those large front flippers to propel themselves through the water, where seals use their back flippers. Back, let's show me back flippers to propel themselves. Sea lions' back flippers are a lot smaller than seals. Okay. And those large front flippers that Saki uses to propel herself through the or propel herself through the water can actually allow sea lions to swim up to 25 miles an hour. And they also enable one of the most famous sea lion tricks, the flipper stance. All right, so now that we've told you guys some of the differences between seals and sea lions, some of the things that we do here, the, our very first concern actually is the health and well-being of our animals. They learn the behaviors, so that way we can do a complete medical exam on them. We can look them over top to bottom, front to back, inside and out. So we can see her front flippers. Okay. And we can see the other front flipper. Okay. She also has those back flippers. So we can look at them, make sure she doesn't have any cuts, scrapes, bruises, anything like that. Okay. 
And so we've looked at our flippers and now we can look at the body of our animal. She can lie down. And now from this position, we can actually do a voluntary blood sampling right down here on her rear end. Good girl. Okay. So we've seen the flippers, we've seen the top of our sea lion. Sea lions also have bottoms for us to look at. We can do a roll over here. Oh, good girl, hold. And now from this position, if Saki were to be pregnant, we could actually do a voluntary ultrasound so we can monitor the um, health of the baby. Okay. Good girl. And so all of those behaviors involve looking at the outside of the body. We can also look at the inside. We can see inside of her mouth. Good, 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 good. Okay. Make sure she doesn't have any cuts in there either. So now that we know that our sea lion is healthy, she doesn't have any cuts, she doesn't have any bumps, bruises, anything like that, we want to move on to doing some more physical exercise, keep her mentally and physically stimulated. And the way that we do that is by teaching them other behaviors. They've got their little workout routine. We have sea lion yoga. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Big girl. We also have, so you know, that, that's to kind of help the, the mind and the spirit there. We also have the sea lion aerobics. Okay, and she goes in the other direction. Okay. <laughs> and you guys saw her sea lion push-ups that she did earlier, but that's okay. We can never have too many sea lion push-ups. Okay. Good girl. To help with cardio, Saki also likes to get her groove on and she likes to dance. Big girl. And now associated with her physical health, we can actually do some other more fun things. You guys saw that flip earlier. One of the other, one, the other awesome water jumping behaviors that Saki does is called a porpoise. And now the porpoising behavior is something that sea lions actually naturally do in the wild. Maybe not quite as high as Saki, but Saki is a superstar and she likes to do everything bigger and better than everyone else and she'll show you that in just a second. But the porpoising behavior actually allows sea lions to move faster when they're out in the ocean because you can move faster through air than water. Let's show off your porpoising skill, Saki. Hey! Good girl. So now that we know that our sea lion is healthy, we know that she is physically and mentally fit, and we, are, um, we move on to one of the main things that we do here at the Sluice Project, and that's public education. Now, I've been saying Sluice Project a lot. What I haven't said, though, is what Sluice actually stands for. Sluice stands for science, learning, and exploration with the help of sea lions. Okay. <laughs> and what that means is that they actually work with us when we do all these projects. So with the Sluice Project, we do kind of like what you guys are seeing today. We do some smaller demos here at home. We also have the Sea Lion Stewards Program, which is where school kids will actually come here to the facility to learn more about the sea lions, what we do with them. They do a little beach cleanup. But before they actually go out to the beach, they get to watch Saki do a demonstration of beach cleanup. We talk about trash and recycling and how important those things are. I'm going to show you guys just a little example of what we do. We normally have two bins. We've got a trash bin and a recycling bin. Then we throw some stuff that we find out that we've actually found out into the ocean. We throw them into Saki's ocean here in her pool. She brings them up and then she'll put them in their receptacle that they go in. So example, we've got our plastic bottle for recycling and our sea lion sized cigarette butts. So let's throw them into the ocean and have Saki bring them up to us. All right, so Saki's brought us our cigarette butt, so let's have her put it in the receptacle. Hey, hey girl. And let's get our recycling. And now we have our plastic bottle, which also needs to go into a receptacle. Now, Saki and her companions actually travel with us to one of our other educational programs called Sea Lion Encounters. 
you guys are interested in seeing a little bit more of Asaki and her companions with that, we will actually be at the Santa Cruz Fair in September. So one of the last things that we do with our animals is we actually do a lot of the re we do a lot of cooperative research with them. One of the ways that we do that is by <laughs> I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> having our sea lions wear a harness. Now this harness acts kind of like a backpack and allows us to put some um, have Saki take instrumentation out into the ocean so that way we can learn more about her and the ocean holds. Good, so we just put this right on her, kind of the way you'd put a harness on a dog. And then on the back of this harness, we can strap different types of in instrumentation onto the harness, such as dive depth monitor, so we can see how deep sea lions can dive. Swim speed monitor, so we can see how fast they swim. We've also got heart rate monitors, to monitor how many beats per minute their heart is beating, especially at different depths. Okay. And we also have an underwater video camera like you see right here that Tiana is showing to you. We can put that right on Sasaki's back and get a sea lion's eye view of what's going on out in the ocean. Let's hear it for Sasaki. Look at how beautiful she is in her maroon harness. Okay, girl, hold. Some of the other research projects we've had here, actually, we've also done some molting research Sea lions molt off all of their fur once a year, kind of like how a dog sheds, you know, continually throughout the year. Okay. Sea lions only do that once, and they do it all in just a few months during the summertime. So we've done some um, research to monitor that. We've also done some stomach sampling and all kinds of different cooperative research. These guys are fully trained to do all of that on their own. We don't make them do any of it. They work with us in order to um, help with these research projects. Okay, girl. So, uh, that's, we've talked about education, we've talked about all the research and stuff that we do here. Um, one last thing I want to remind you guys is that Saki and her companions are very special sea lions. They have been in captivity their entire lives and we've worked a long time with them to create um, these true relationships and bonds with them that we have. So if you guys ever see any sea lions, seals, any wild animals out on the beach, we want to leave our wild animals wild, so you want to stay a safe distance away from them both for your safety and for the safety of the animals. So we want to thank you guys for coming on out and hope that you have a wonderful day. See you guys. Okay. You guys have any other questions here, Heather will be happy to answer them for you.